your worst nightmare. How bad is this infestation? This is quite a bad one. How many bed bugs are there in here? <laughs> quite a few. Hundreds? Hundreds. Yeah, you can see the small babies, they're all in there. There's literally about over 100 actually inside there now. Just on that tape? Just on that tape. At this house in Croydon, Terrell's been called in to tackle a bed bug infestation that's growing out of control. Ooh. Partly digested blood. This is um, quite a bad infestation. And they were all in here feeding on whoever was Who was in here, there. they would have been feeding on them, yeah, for a long, long time. The job keeps him busy. In the past year, his company's seen a 10% rise in bed bug reports and a 17% jump in just the last month. That could be because people are travelling more at the moment and bringing, them, and bringing them home. Another reason is that people haven't got as much disposable income now, so they might be putting up with bed bugs. And of course, if they do that, they can then spread to, to, to neighbouring premises, etc. A national panic in France might also be behind the surge in call-outs here. The government's played down reports of outbreaks in Paris and Marseille, but top officials met on Friday to come up with an action plan. While in Algeria, borders are being tightened with extra health screening to catch any travelling bugs. So this is one of our test bedrooms uh, where we release live bed bugs. Dr uh, Richard Naylor's been studying the creatures for more than 20 years. In Paris, it's become, uh, it's become a political thing uh, and, it's, um, and there's a media frenzy around that. And so I think that that uh, gives the false impression that Paris has a worse problem than anywhere else. But I haven't seen any evidence to suggest that Paris is any worse than London. So I think if you're travelling from London to Paris, you're equally, li equally likely to take bugs with you as bring them away again. While some think these reports of a rise in bed bugs are overblown, there's no doubt how easy these insects are to pick up. Looking nice and chubby now, full of blood. And how devilishly difficult they then are to eradicate. Rachel Venables, Sky News.